Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to dual boot Windows 7 and Windows 8 without creating a partition using virtual hard drive. So let's begin. To begin, we need to create the virtual hard drive. So press the Windows key plus R and type the disk management.msc command in the run window and click OK. Now in the disk management, click on Action, and then click Create VHD. I'm going to choose the location to be the root of my drive C. So it's C column backslash Windows 8 dot VHD. And the size, I'm going to select a 20 gigs, which is recommended for Windows 8. Leave it default, fix size, and then click OK. Now it's creating the virtual drive. Once it finished creating the VHD, you have to initialize it. So right click and then click on initialize disk. Leave everything default and click OK. Once initialized, right click on the virtual drive and click on new simple volume click next to the wizard I'm gonna leave everything default and click on next I'm gonna change the drive letter to be something other than D click next here I'm, I'm only gonna change the volume label to Windows 8 and then click on next click finish to the wizard and that's it you have created a virtual hard drive and it's reading it as an additional drive on your computer or as a partition here it is a 20 gig uh, hard drive okay now we need to download a script from MSDN when you download the script, make sure you place it on the root of drive C. The link is in the description box below. I'm going to click here to download, agree to the license terms, and then save the file. When I save the file, it's not going to go to my drive C, it's going to go to my download folder. Make sure you move it to the appropriate place. Now I'm going to uh, move the file from here and place it on my drive C next to my Windows 8 VHD. So go to my computer, drive C, and here it is. I'm going to right click and paste it. I can continue here. All right, then right click, refresh, and here it is. Perfect. Now, right click on the script and then click on properties. Under the general tab, click unlock. Then apply, then OK. Perfect. Now, we need to download virtual clone drive. This is for us to use a virtual CD-ROM and it's free. The link is in the description box below. Here it is. Download and install. I'm still going to go through the installation process because I don't have it. Once downloaded, double click to install. Click yes to the warning and I'm gonna leave everything default so I'm gonna agree next and then install perfect once it's installed close I'm gonna close all the windows here and then we have successfully installed virtual clone drive here it is now when we go to computer you will see a virtual CD-ROM right here. Now we need to mount 
the Windows 8 ISO so right click and then select Windows clone drive and then click on mount look for your Windows 8 developer preview ISO if you haven't downloaded this the link is in the description box below you can double click or select it and click on open perfect we have mounted the Windows 8 ISO to the BD-ROM from uh, virtual clone drive now close here now we need to run some commands in the Windows PowerShell so click on start and then search for uh, Windows PowerShell here it is now right click and then click on run as administrator click yes to the warning now type the following command all these commands are in my website the link is in the description box below so you can just copy and paste it here type Y and then press enter now we need to change to the root drive so type CD space C colon backslash and press enter perfect now here type the following command and here replace the letter D with the virtual CD-ROM drive letter where we mounted the Windows 8 ISO and the letter F for the virtual hard drive that we created if your drive letters are different than mine and press enter key now it says it will take up to 15 minutes but it actually took half hour so perfect it's done now once it's done uh, close the uh, PowerShell and now we need to run the command prompt with administrative privileges so click on start and look for command prompt now right click and then click on run as administrator click yes to the warning and here type the following command assuming F is a virtual drive with Windows 8 and press enter when you get the boot file successfully created that's it all you need to do is restart Windows 7 and you will get your dual boot without creating a partition thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below